Hello, my name is Hannah Hurdle, and I'm the Library E-Learning Specialist at Ottawa Library here at UA Little Rock. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the Open Educational Resource Project Cora, which is a free OER database for faculty to aid in course instruction. The Community for Online Research Assignments, or Project Cora, is an open educational resource intended to be a collaborative space for adapting and experimenting with research assignments, class lessons, and more. Resources on Project Cora are enhanced by user feedback in order to build a generous collection of best practices. In addition to the research assignments and class lessons, the teaching tool, there is the teaching toolkit, which features a range of resource types, including assessments, classroom activities, technology tips, citation tools, and more. Now I'm going to take you through the OER database Project Cora, so you can see how to navigate it, view the type of content found there, as well as see what resources are available to assist in student learning. So let me share my screen really quick. So here is Project Cora, which you can access just by going to projectcora.org, and we're on their homepage. Project Core is broken down into assignments, blog, their blog, and then the teaching toolkit. So you can see their latest assignments listed on the homepage. The blog hasn't been updated since 2019, so they have put that on hold. Um, but then they also have their teaching toolkit resources. You can also see their leaderboards. So they have their most popular assignments, their most adapted assignments, and then their most common and on ass assignments, which I'll go into in a little bit. So first, let's just look at their assignments. So you can search these either by just scrolling through them or you can do it by their information literacy concepts. So they have different ones that you can choose from. You can search by discipline. So they have accounting, art, biology, business, geology, health, history, law, psychology, physics. So they have a bunch of different options for you to choose from. You can uh, search by ability level, so they have for faculty and librarians, high school students, and then undergrad and graduate students. And then lastly, you can search for a research assignment or lesson plan for individual students or for groups. So, and then you can also just like do a keyword search. So I'm gonna scroll to a specific assignment that I wanna show. Um, focuses on so critical reading lesson plan a lower division sociology so um they're all set all the assignments in project core are set up the same but they have more or less information depending on what the creator wanted to share so for this one it was submitted by stephanie geller on october 1st 2021 and if i click on it you can see that she is a conservation archivist at the CA State Archives. Um, she focuses on the disciplines of history and sociology. You can see that she's only submitted this assignment and then you can see the stats for her assignment. So 152 people have viewed it, but no one's adapted or commented on it. So I'm gonna go back. So we have a short description. This is a lesson plan for 45 minute lower division sociology class. Um, so the students before the class would read the two texts, um, one by Elijah Anderson, which is the code of the street, decency, violence, and the moral life of the inner city. And then the other text is Thomas L. McNulty and Paul E. Belair, their article explaining racial and ethnic differences in serious adolescence violent behavior. So she has the description of what students are gonna be reading. She has an attachment, which is the full lesson plan, which I'll show in a second. Uh, she has her learning outcomes. So by the end of class, she wants students to have practiced their critical reading skills. So students will be able to identify key elements of a text. They'll be able to reflect on how methods, structure, and presentation impact their reception on a text argument. And they'll become more comfortable sharing their experiences with, the, uh, with each other and considering how and why different people have different reactions to the same text. Um, this is specific for, for sociology. 
like I showed earlier, you can search by those information linker concepts. So she has hers listed here. This is a group activity for undergraduate students. She also has a suggested citation that you can use and her creative, the Creative Commons license that she selected. So this is an attribution, non-commercial, share alike. So I'm gonna go click on my attachment. It's gonna open up as a Word document. So she provides background information. The goal of the lesson um, is broken down into time. So how long everything will take. Um, she has the critical reading exercise deeper questions that students can dive into. So it's very detailed. And depending on who submitted the assignment, you'll have more or less uh, resources and detail for those resources. And this one doesn't have um, any adaptations that have made to it. So if you want to, if you were to use one of these assignments and wanted to adapt it, you can. You don't have to just keep it the way it is, but you do have to log in um, and create an account to do so. So I will give an example. So go into the most adapted assignments. You can see on the side who has adapted and then they are gonna share how they've adapted that resource. Um, so they have, this one has several adaptations that have been done to it. So I'm gonna go back to assignments and search by discipline this time. Let's go to business. Do a search. Actually, still want to do business. Yeah, let's do business. So, so this is a business task cards activity. So you can see that she has more than one. Um, yes, this is by Natalie Blast. Sorry if I said that wrong, but she's a business librarian from Loyola Marymount University, and she's contributed more than one assignment. So she has, again, a short description, learning outcomes. Um, so she has, and it's provided course context, which that other individual did not provide. But she has the business task activity cards to specifically um, build out what that activity would look like and then has a template that you can, oh, it's a PowerPoint that you can download um, so you don't have to create them yourself. It's available um, right here. So let's do one more assignment. Let's do social work. Yeah, okay. Um, it's not even the one we just looked at. It is. So that past the problem was for a social work class. Um, so she has the past the problem doc. And so it explains how this assignment would work. So again, this has less description than some of those other assignments that we looked at. So it really just depends on the individual who um, added the assignment. But you can see like this individual, she has contribute assignments and adapted assignments. So some people are much more active on here than others. So I'm going to skip the blog since it hasn't been updated in a while and show you the teaching toolkit. So the teaching toolkit, you can um, search by discipline. And then you can also search by resource type. So you can look at their assessments, syllabuses, technology tips, et cetera. And you can also search by keyword. So this could be other OER resources, articles, learning tools. So it's, a, it's different options. Um, so it really just depends on what you're looking for. So you have Arizona State University Library tutor Tutorials. You have the BC Open Textbook Accessibility Toolkit. Um, you have book suggestions. So there's a lot of different resources available. 
So I'm going to go back to assignments real quick. And actually, no, I need to go back to my own page. So I showed you um, most adaptive assignments, what that looks like, most common in on assignments. So you can just see this one just has one comment. Well, no, this has multiple comments. So you can see that this one, this is what it had, looks like when it has comments. And then, so that's a library database teach in. And then a popular assignment is evaluating new sites credible or clickbait. So you can see that this has been downloaded 7,351 times. Um, so they might link PowerPoints, the full lesson plan. Some assignments have um, like quizzes that have been added to the assignment so you can get some assessment. Um, so there's a bunch of different resources that are available. One other thing I want to show you is their frequently asked questions. So this um, talks about how like you can um, log in, create an account, how you can add assignments, how you can use assignments. Um, what you can search for on Quora. So it gives you just kind of a breakdown of everything that's available in Quora and how to navigate Quora more in depth than even when I'm going through it. Um, so let me stop sharing my screen real quick. Um, Project Core truly has so much to offer faculty, students, and course instruction. Not only does it promote the use of open educational resources, but it is also a valuable resource and support for faculty to work with other educators around the country and continue promoting best practices in their course instruction. If you would like more assistance with finding applicable research assignments or lesson plans on Project Quora for your courses, or just like more information on locating open educational resources in general, please reach out to me at hfhurdle at uaalr.com or one of the other librarians and students at best.hammer library.